After the hottest July in 104 years that records have been kept, drought concerns have peaked for people in Ashland. And tonight, a panel of representatives from a variety of city and county departments will be on hand to answer questions. Newswatch Watch Rob Scott spoke to conservation specialists in Ashland residents as well. And he's live now in the newsroom with more. Earlier this summer, Ashland city officials were cautious to see if water curtailment would be needed for the first time since 2009. So far, it hasn't been needed, thanks in large part to voluntary efforts of water conservation by some Ashland residents. Six and a half million gallons of water are used in the city of Ashland during summer days. That's up from one and a half million a day in the winter. The key difference, water used for landscaping. But this year is different. We've had droughts before, and so we need to conserve water. So that really applies to everybody in, in the general area. Residents at the Mountain Meadows community have come together to put a dent in the $45,000 they spend on irrigating their lawns every year. So far, they're one year into a three-year turf removal process, and they know it'll be better in the long run. City officials say others are catching on. The more we know about our water, the more we understand how we use it, the less likely we are to waste it. Julie Smitherman has helped put in place different water conservation programs, including lawn replacement incentives. She says there are small-scale steps everyone can do. Well, people just want to know in any way how they can conserve. And, and there's several different, different measures that you can take from, from short-term measures, more simple measures that change your habits, such as taking shorter showers. Mountain Meadows doesn't have to make their landscaping changes, but they say it's the right thing to do for both their budget and the environment, even if it narrows down their choices for plants. Drought tolerant, deer resistant, and meet the city's Firewise programs because we're a Firewise community as well. And we also like things that have flowers on them. That's a big order. The Ashland Drought Summit will begin within the hour at Southern Oregon University. Newswatch 12 will bring you the latest on what is shared tonight at Newswatch 12 at 11. Live in the newsroom, Rob Scott, Newswatch 12.